Hello guys, welcome. I welcome you back to my channel, Moses TCG. In today's video, I'm going to to take you through the process, the service and servicing and maintenance process of this printer here. It is HP Color Laser Jet Enterprise Flow MFP M776 printer. Uh, you can start with the ADF. From the ADF, this I'm showing you what to service and what to maintain. Uh, you open, it, you press here on this ADF lock and open it. In most cases, you have dust all over this place. You have to get a blower, blowing machine like this one here, uh, and blow and 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 blow dust from here. And also, uh, you get a cloth and uh, some detergent and water. You you make it wet, but not extremely wet. And you clean the whole surface here. Okay, even the rollers, you clean them. You can even unlock them from here and remove them and clean. After that, you close it. You open. Uh, you, you also clean inside here, as you can see here. You clean here. You clean the whole place here because you don't need to uh, to leave anything. You, you don't have to leave anything, uh, anything dirty. Uh, you open the flat bed or the glass. Uh, here, the main thing to uh, our our aim here to service is this glass here it's called an adf glass okay in most cases when you scan uh the papers are uh, like as they accumulate they they make they create some dots on the glass so you have to make sure that you get a cloth a clean wet cloth and clean here the whole glass surface and here the the main glass you clean it you make sure that there's no there's no dust at all, or there's no dots at all. Because if there's dust or dots, uh, in most cases, you when you scan something, you can get lines on the document, which you don't want. Mm, so you have to to make sure that the glass is clean. Okay, we have finished the ADF side. Now we have to go to the finisher side. In case your printer has a finisher, what you need to do you open the finisher door there's a lock here you place it and and push the finisher to the to the left uh, as you can see inside here most cases there's dust inside here what you need to do you get a blowing a blowing machine and blow the dust away and you also get a cleaning cloth and clean inside here and there is also uh, you clean all the place here you clean everything you make sure that everything is clean now uh, after doing that you push back the finisher and make sure that it locks okay uh, when you hear that sound you make that shows that it has locked the after finishing that you open the tornado okay uh, from here you clean the whole of this place you clean everything from here uh, you get a blower and blow the, the fan area to make sure that there is no dust in the fan otherwise the dust the fan will stop working okay uh, there is another another door here where you see a blue here what you need to do you open it and what you will find here it is called a uh, toner collection unit Okay, you pull it out. Okay, it has a door here. There's a lock. You first place a lock and open the door here like this. Uh, in most cases, there's waste toner. What you need to do, you need to get a, a, a bin or a plastic bag and power that waste toner 
in that bag. After doing that, you clean the you you clean you clean this mouth here or the hole and and push this, this unit back here and close it. Okay? Uh, we have finished here. The next thing to do is to check this side doors here. You get a blower and clean everything from here. And you clean, you clean up also this one with a wet cloth to make sure that everything is clean. There's another door here. And this door will give you access to the, to the fuser unit and other rollers. Now what you need to do, you need to clean this, these rollers here. This roller here has a lock here. Okay, you press the lock and slide it. And slide to remove it. You clean inside here and make sure that everything is clean. Uh, also, this door here, this is a transfer roller. Uh, you, you get a blower and you clean the transfer roller. You, you blow dust away from the transfer roller. But you are, what you don't need to do, don't apply water on this roller. Otherwise, it will stop working. The, uh, it, it will print. The printer will print, but it will give you dirty printouts because of the roller. You, we don't put water on the, on the transfer roller. Okay, what we can do is just to get a blower, dust blower, and clean it. Uh, like and blow dust from this roller. Okay, uh, it is the same procedure. You get a cloth, you clean all of these rollers. Okay, after after blowing dust, don't clean before you blow dust. You you make sure that everything is clean from this side. You close the door. Okay, you close the door like this. You make sure that it is closed properly. Another thing is just this door here. This door will give you access to the pickup rollers for the for the for the down trays. Okay, tray three and tray four. It will give you access to the to these to these trays. We, we follow the same procedure, we open, we, we press here, we press here and, add, and add, we press this lock here and, and adjust the, and move it to this side and remove it, and remove it. Uh, it will give you access to the roller inside and clean it. Same thing even here. After finishing that, you clean the outer surface of the, of the machine. Uh, you clean up. You clean here. You clean here. You clean everywhere. To make sure that the outer surface is good. Because if you don't clean the outer surface, the person, the customer will not will not confirm that you have surely serviced the the machine. Because for them, what they see, they will see the after uh, outer surface, and they say you have not cleaned anything. I'm seeing that my printer is still dirty and you're telling me that you have serviced. Okay guys, that is today's video. If you find it if you find it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and hit a notification button in case you in case I upload more videos like this about printers and and printer repairs, you'll be able to find them. Thank you. Bye bye.